Today's video is brought to us by Nautilus Ammunition. At Nautilus Ammunition, they have cheap, high-quality ammunition that is often three to five dollars cheaper per box than retailers for small orders. They also offer subscription services where they have discounts associated with that. They have fast shipping, no order limits, no minimums, and that includes the subscription service as well. They're made in America with top quality components and low prices. Nautilus is not a retailer, they are the manufacturer, and they don't scalp prices. Plus, when you call Nautilus Ammunition, you get real responses from real people, and that is huge. A big thank you to Nautilus Ammunition for sponsoring this video, and if you want to stay up to date with some of their sales, check them out on their Instagram over at Nautilus Ammunition. Thanks, guys. Hey, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. I appreciate your time. Thank you for watching. We've been covering this uh, credit card wokeness over the last few days. Uh, just to catch you up, uh, the uh, ISO, the International Standards Organization, which is in Geneva, Switzerland, had okayed a new MCC, which is a merchant uh, category code for firearm and ammunition stores. So that in theory, they can track where you spend your money. Well, not in theory, that's how they track where you can spend your money. The risk with that, as we've covered, and I've done a couple videos, they'll be floating above. The risk involved is that uh, those codes are what banks use to approve or deny those transactions. Denials can be part of that as well. So uh, people were frustrated. People were angry. People were pissed off, rightfully so. The anti-gunners were praising this and saying this is a victory in a way that will reduce mass shootings and also flag suspicious purchases at gun shops. Well, <laughs> as you would imagine, when people get pissed off about something, the market reacts. And Visa, one of the big three, Visa, MasterCard, and American Express, who had all been contacted by anti-gunners, the and politicians again i posted those those in those videos those letters um they fell and said yeah you know we'll adopt this code well yesterday their shares dropped uh 3.4 percent so when you hit them in the wallet you tend to get a response so what visa has done is they've come out and have addressed this new tracking code for firearms and in a statement visa has said we have no visibility into what items a customer is purchasing. This is true irrespective of which MCC applies to a merchant. Many are advocating the use of MCCs to track gun sales as a potential tool in combating gun violence. That's not what the merchant codes are designed for, nor should they be. Asking private companies to decide what legal products or services can or cannot be bought and from what stores sets a dangerous precedent. Further, it would be an invasion of consumers' privacy for banks and payment networks to know each of our most personal purchasing habits. Visa is firmly against this. Well, if they're so against it, why did they adopt the new merchant category code? They didn't have to. They said, yeah, you know, we'll do it only after they were contacted by a bunch of senators and a bunch of anti-gun groups. So some of the concerns I've raised uh, in a plethora of places over the last few days is what the anti-gunners want is this scenario. I go to the gun store and spend a couple thousand dollars on items. Maybe I buy a safe. Maybe I buy uh, some eyes and ears. Maybe I buy some cleaning supplies. Maybe you could easily spend a couple thousand dollars just depending on what safe you get. Well, that would register under that merchant category code, say 2,500 bucks of a purchase at Bill's Gun Emporium. And they, in theory, could say, hey, that's terrible. Let's give that to law enforcement. And then I would be investigated as if I was a domestic terrorist or somebody who was purchasing a large amount of firearms and they wanted to know why. Well, first off, it's none of their GD business why I purchase what I purchase. Firearms and everything sold at gun and ammunition stores are legal items that are protected by the Constitution of the United States and the Bill of Rights. 
Those rights that we do not get from the government who wants nothing more than to control you and control those rights. So you can see where this could easily be misinterpreted, easily get somebody into a jam, get them swatted, uh, have you know agents invest, knock on their doors, all of which because the anti-gunners in, in politics and in gun control advocacy groups, they cannot get their registry through congressionally. Thus, it's illegal. They've tried numerous ways and other bills through rules that are passed by the ATF. And the ATF does have a registry. We've already proven that with Gun Owners of America and information they got in a FOIA request. I'll link that video above too if you missed it. Uh, so this is not necessary, these codes. Visa is saying that it's not necessary and that using them to track this stuff is a dangerous precedent. But if Visa has come out to say this is a dangerous precedent and shouldn't be done, why did they accept the codes and why don't they do something about it to make sure that this information doesn't get tracked or used incorrectly? Those are some solid questions for Visa. Some solid questions for Visa. In the meantime, if you're going to purchase a new item, use cash at those locations because they're only going to try to use that information for no good. Trust me. Also, I've gotten way too many emails in the last five, six, seven days about people who are falling uh, victims of these asshole scammers that are in the comment section. Uh, I've done numerous posts. I've done numerous videos talking about it. And I understand people don't watch all my videos. Otherwise, this channel would be huge if all 500 and some odd thousand people watched every video. It would be great if you guys and gals would. Hint, hint. Um, but... I've told YouTube, I've deleted hundreds of them, I've uh, blocked hundreds of them from my channel. They just keep coming back because people keep sending them money. So please don't fall for anything in the, the comments. I'm not giving away anything unless you see me on a video say I'm giving something away. I am not giving away anything and I would never do it in the comment section. With that said, have a fantastic day. Please be safe, stay vigilant, and carry a gun to keep you, your friends, your family, your community safe. Because that's what the Second Amendment is for. And it doesn't matter with Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Moms Demand Action, blah 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 Doesn't matter what they think. Have a great day. Take care.